Hey guys, today I bring you a super quick and easy um, spring summer look. This is using um, all very warm tones, bronzy type colors on the eyes, cheeks, and lips. This is going to look good on pretty much anyone, but particularly if you have light eyes, it really makes them pop. It is using all drugstore, well, more comparatively priced because none of the most, I don't think any of these are like your basic like Maybelline type deal, but it is drugstore priced item, so it's very accessible and also, it's just going to really make your eyes pop. And it's also definitely very very wearable for day to day and like I said very easy because a lot of my looks recently have been dramatic or intricate and I wanted to throw something out there that wasn't as hard so if you want to see how to get this look please stay tuned okay so the first product I'm using is a base I just picked up this is one of the flower color play cream eyeshadows I've only had one of these before but this one is called awesome blossom and look how gorgeous that is. You can see as I'm putting it on my reaction because it's the first time I've used it and I'm just like blown away. It's actually very dark. It's like a burgundy warm brown type color. But uh, you can see I'm going to apply it not too much of it because you don't want it to crease. And then we're going to add lighter shadows on top of it. So it's definitely going to be very wearable by the end. But it is just going to make everything look warmer and just really pop. So that's awesome blossom. And as usual for my matte complimentary type colors I am using Makeup Geek today. The first one I'm using has become something I feel like I've used in every tutorial. This is Creme Brulee. It's a transition color. You can see very close to skin tone. It's a warm color, so it's going to complement the rest of the colors in this look. And I'm just going to blend that through my crease, uh, first applying it and then really buffing it out because you want this look to be very soft. Yeah, I am just going with a matte highlight today because I find that much more wearable for day to day. This is just Vanilla Bean. Again, skin tone. This one's just a little lighter though. The main shadow. I'm using today is by Hard Candy. I think, I don't know if this is still available at Walmart because I can, it's not at my Walmart anymore, but um, wherever you can pick up Hard Candy. This one is a solo eyeshadow or one of those single eyeshadows in solo. It's a bronze color. So any bronze color you have, I'm sure you have something that's this color, but it's not very unique. But over that base, it's going to be very pretty. It's going to slightly tone down the color of the base while still keeping it warm and bronzy like we want. So I'm just putting that all over my lid. For a little bit of interest and even to warm it up a little more, I'm taking a color called Bitten by Makeup Geek. Also matte. It's a matte dark brownish. It's a red but with a brown tone versus a bright red. And what I'm going to do is pop that on the outer bit and the inner bit. So that way the bronze in the middle just kind of makes the eyes pop. But it's really going to add a lot of warmth and again really bring out the eye color. And it's actually going to complement the eyeliner we're using really well. So doing that and then once again really blending that out. And then for my eyeliner today I'm using one of my favorites. I've been obsessed with this like for a year now. I use it all the time. This is the Prestige Waterproof Eyeliner in Teakwood. It's a brown that's super warm in tone. In fact, if you look on their website, the swatch for this is actually red, but it is brown. It's just very, very warm. And when you put that on your waterline, it makes your eyes pop like no other. So I'm running that through my waterline tight line area as well as on my upper lash line. So just anywhere you want your eyeliner to go for the day, use this. And for blending that out on the bottom and also the top, I'm just going to take Solo again on a pencil brush. Um, you could take a darker eyeshadow if you have one. I just want to keep it simple, so I'm using this, blending that out. So the top, it's going to be very soft, and then the bottom, you're just going to really soften that out. And then I'm going to really blend out the bottom as I always do because I always like my bottom lash line to be very soft. Last step for me for the eyes was mascara. I actually am not particularly fond of this mascara, but any mascara you have, this is just the Falsies by Maybelline. Get your lashes nice and good, especially with a warm eyeshadow look. You want to make sure you've got some black around the eyes in the form of <laughs> mascara. Now for cheeks, you obviously want to make sure you're very bronzed for a bronzy look like this one. Um, I just used the Essence bronzer that I've been using for a while now. And then for a little bit of blush, I'm using ELF's Tickle Pink. It's a matte peachy pink. 
I use this pretty much all summer long and so I'm just popping that through my cheeks for something subtle that's just going to warm the tone up a little more. And for lips, again, keeping it simple because that is the idea of this look. This is a Maybelline Elixir, just a one-stop product and this is my favorite one in Caramel Infused. It's just a nude color that still is, it's like a my lips for better. It's color to your lips but without adding color, you know? So I'm popping that all over and that is the finished look. Okay, so that is my finished um, bronzy look for spring, summer. Just something very quick and easy. I think this will be especially great around like exam time if you want to put on a little makeup but still uh, do it quick and easy. And all these shadows are nice and everything is nice and cheap so that's always nice. And the focal point of this look was definitely this base by Flower. So hopefully you guys did enjoy that. If you did be sure to like the video below, subscribe to see more from me and I'll talk to you all very soon. Have a great day. Hold on.